Ivan Bates, Warren Brown, Dwight Pettit, Jay Wendell Gordon, Billy Murphy, Malcolm Ruff. We're talking about the war on drugs and the money you make off of the war on drugs. In 2006, y'all made a stop snitching video. In 2006, I started the movie Get Shorty. Get Shorty. I went to jail in two states to prove my point. N62528, State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. I turned in guns and drugs to end the war on drugs to address the violence in our communities. That's WBAL, that's NBC, CBS, 98 Rock. That's Community in Crisis. And that's in 2008. All right, that's 2008. Like I said, that's the Baltimore Sun. That's 2011, March 3rd. Justice opposed Westboro Baptist freedom of speech. All right. So the same way that y'all did the freedom of speech for the Westboro Baptist Church, we're going to do freedom of speech for this right here. All right. In 2011, y'all called me a terrorist. Y'all called me a terrorist in 2007, 2011. Y'all charged me with terrorism three times. That's the Baltimore Banner. That's Pam Woods of the Baltimore Banner. Everything that Pam Woods got at the Baltimore Banner email, y'all need to get. Everything from the Baltimore Sun, y'all need to get. Everything from parole and probation, y'all need to get. File a Freedom of Information Act. Governor Hogan made $500 million last year off of inmates. All right? That's Governor Hogan. And that's Mayor Pugh. That's my 2008 Freedom Fighter Award. Dwayne Shorty Davis. That's my Weaver Award. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And you ain't beat me yet. Starbucks and Shorty. Weaving a better Baltimore. M&T Bank. These are the supporters of Shorties. These different individuals signed off for it. And like I said... I was making a movie about Baltimore, arts and promotions. Y'all got that. All right. I'm talking about North County High Mentoring Program. You feel me? And we talking about Letters Design, a movie about my life. You feel me? Letters Design was by Rob Fix. It ain't been produced and ain't been made, but you got a lot of trailers about it. So Google Letters Design. That's Peter Frankite. He's a controller. I need an audit. You've been a controller since this started. 2006, you've been the controller. Governor Schaefer, Governor O'Malley, Governor Ehrlich, Governor Glendening, Governor Hogan. Y'all all know me. That's Devin Allen. He know me too. If you look at his portfolio, I'm in his portfolio. You'll see a lot of me in there. That's Governor Hogan. This is my portfolio. This is the money behind the prison industry. Like I said, I got the Weaver Award. I'm weaving in Baltimore. This is my tapestry of injustice. This is a tapestry of injustice. Scott Schellenberger and Shorty. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. I'm active in my community. That's Baltimore County Courts. All right, Judge Cox. You go to Judge Cox and get this paperwork. It's a writ of sociority to approach the Supreme Court. You go to Eric Barron, Department of Justice. He got this since January. All right. We talk about the murder and the death of our black community. How the police kill us indiscriminately. You feel me? I'm not Tavon Martin. I'm not George Floyd. I'm none of these. I'm still alive and breathing. And my fight is documented with the Department of Justice. You go to Chief Justice Mary Barbera and get my paperwork. It's a writ of sociority to approach the Supreme Court. That's President Biden in the Department of Justice, all right? That's State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby, 2021. That's Chief Justice Mary Barbera. So those receipts match up. That's Judge Cox, all right? You're talking about your prison industry. Contact Mr. O'Neill so we can give a jailhouse interview with Adam May of WJZ, Rob Fix, all right? Send me the address to Kathy Ash. I sent you the address to Kathy Ash, the Maryland Film Festival. All right. We talking about your prison industry. P.O. Box. All right. I'm on Bosley Avenue. So go to Pam Woods, the Baltimore Sun, the Baltimore Brew. Go to Justin Fenton, and we're going to tell the truth about Shorty. I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States. I'm an honorably discharged veteran. It's a stop snitching video.
You got 52 members of the Democratic Party can go to jail for shielding and corruption. If Blagojevich can go to jail, so can Governor Hogan. He participated in fraud. Money counts itself. And we're going to talk about the money behind the prison industry. And we're going to toss it up. Mic check. <laughs>